What's going on guys and welcome back to some more uh, Subnautica Below Zero. Last episode, um, we did some exploring. We got more fragments for the sea truck modules. Meaning, if we come back to our pod and we go to our uh, builder, we should have one of the new modules for the sea truck. Which would be absolutely wonderful. Okay. Let's get out. Check out what we got. Nine. So, what do you got for us today? Modules. Sea truck fabricator module. Plasteel ingot, computer chip, and lead. We should have all of the and uh, stuff for all of those. So let's come down. We're actually gonna let me pack this up. There we go. Okay, let's head back to our base. deploy our meet vehicle bay above okay we can assign it to builder to a quick slot that there then we will go down and get our we need. Welcome aboard, Captain. So we need plasteel ingots and three lead and then a computer chip. So one, two, three of those. Two, three, four, five, titanium. We need our lithium. Okay. There's our titanium, our steel. Okay, so now we need the computer chip. So we need one of those. We need uh, copper wiring, which Where's our copper? Okay, there's the two copper. Then we just need the table coral sample. So, table coral sample, where oh where could you be? Here's some new rocks. Nope, that silver will be useful. We'll just grab everything on our way down. There's our table. One terrible coral sample. We just need one more. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hmm. want to make sure I get all the materials I can for our later projects. There's another table coral sample. Okay, we'll come over here and grab this oxygen. And we can head back up. Ah, <sighs> so peaceful. 
Okay. Let's boogie. So if we come in here, copper wire, computer chip. Okay, and now we can go create that fabricator module to our sea truck. Yeah, boys, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, vehicle bay, sea truck fabricator module. That's such a cool animation for that. And there's a storm, but we need to wait. Nice, okay. Nice. Okay, it looks like it's damaged. Okay, there's some storage in here. Okay, there's a fabricator. How much is the storage? Seek fluid intake. It's eh. Wow, we did a lot of damage by just on accident hitting it. Sea truck's such a cool vehicle. So now we need to head over here to the lava area because we need to find diamonds there. I just thought of something great. If we actually come to our fabricator here. What do we need for this? Enamel the glass. So if we are to go back, go grab glass steel ingot, then we can have everything we need for the upgrade when we get diamonds. Is our base there it is but I really like this this is a lot I like this vehicle a lot more than the Cyclops it's a much better way to use for uh, a lot of big things um so we need just... Okay, we have five titanium. Just need the plasteel ingot. Or I need, I mean, we need the lithium. No, I need, I need to put that back. There. We need to check what we need for enameled glass. First, let's make the titanium ingot. Lithium ingot. So, lead, glass, and diamond. So one, two, three, four. So that'll get us two glass. Then we need lead. Only two pieces of lead. Right, let me check. 
Yep, then we just need the diamond. Seek fluid intake immediately. Oh, we don't have anything to drink, do we? Crap. Oh well. Okay, let's craft our first thing in the sea truck. Yeah! So cool! Then we can put this stuff in the storage facility. Just need to get diamonds now. Oh god. Totally just rammed into that. So we're heading this way. Yep, this is we need to head like right in between here. Arctic peeper as I ram into it. So we just need to look for diamonds. The wiki said it they would spawn near the lower parts of the uh this biome. I really don't like the things that are here. right up underneath the ice that's why it's so weird there's supposed to be diamonds in here seek fluid intake I'm seeing is lithium. Love how we're slowly dying of dehydration. Ooh, what's this? Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. <laughs> I just saw something very scary and something very big. like piloting the fabricator module what was happening there okay so if 
we can pilot it. Okay. Significant geothermal activity detected below. Beware of high pressure and temperatures. That sounds like great fun. Still not seeing diamonds. Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent. Okay, here's this massive ship. Um... Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Guess we'll come in here and take a look around. That's cool. There's copper wire in here. Cut open. Sealed supply crate. Hmm. Nice, a power cell. Pick up jukebox disc. Ah. Let's get some more oxygen. Warning, maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Hmm. Warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Come on, diamonds. If there's mat, mat, if there's lots of pressure, then there should be diamonds. I get back to my sea truck. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Oxygen. This, are those really diamonds? No, they're, they're yeah, they're quartz. I'm so confused. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Well, I'm dead now. 
I think I'm not carrying Oxygen. anything super important. Now, I guess I'm just gonna explore now. Probably should repair actually. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Here's some rubies. seconds of oxygen remaining we're gonna die again oxygen great this is so much fun what I dropped. This is interesting, I just don't know where to find diamonds. Diamonds are usually so easy to find. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Oof. Oh, that's cool. Lily pads. Literally lily pads. Just like the... Just like it says. Oh. Guys, look at this.
Warning. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency rating decreased. What happened here? Danny's not here, I'm afraid. That's okay. It's you I wanted to see. What's that you're working on? Just a sketch for a piece I want to make. <sighs> I'm slacking off. Don't tell the boss lady. <laughs> I won't. It's beautiful. What is it? I'm doing a series inspired by bacteria. Mutant beauty. Life, death, risk. You know, that kind of thing. What's this one? It looks like Parab. But, Vin, is this a mutation? It's just an art project. You know you're doing that thing with your neck, like when you're trying to bluff an alien intruder? <sighs> right, fine. Fine. I'm bad at lying. Are you mutating Kara bacterium from the frozen Leviathan? Here? In this lab? Please, don't ask me any more questions. I don't think I need to. Okay, so he was doing dangerous, dangerous experiments. We've studied the first Corral bacteria samples from the specimen. Results are promising. We were able to stimulate rapid multiplication of cells in a controlled environment, resulting in the creation of several different mutations with potentially useful applications. Think of the possibilities. Life-saving treatments, genetic research. It could be a window to understand the evolution of life on this planet. The findings could move us forward by years. We recommend a wider study using samples collected from a greater variety of sites around the original pustules. We trust you will provide the necessary security to do so. The Leviathan site must be protected. Okay. Meaning we are next to a Leviathan site. Oxygen. Not good. That laboratory appeared to have been sabotaged intentionally. Do you know what it would have been used for? Look like maybe bacteriology. That's what the equipment was for anyway. Before a fire tornado ran through it, or something. Do you think your sister had something to do with the destruction? I don't know why she would. But the more I see on this planet, the less I know what to think. Who would want to destroy it? Exactly. Investigation notes. Omega Lab was first breached by heavy impact, perhaps from a sea track modified with some sort of battering implement. A localized explosive charge was then released and detonated from a distance. Lab equipment was damaged to the point of inoperability, and all live specimens were destroyed. No personnel was injured. Samples have been collected for analysis to determine whether any bacteria escaped. It is, however, unlikely. The heat of the charge should have boiled everything within a 10 meter radius. Great. I have determined the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Signal okay. location uploaded to PDA. A little sus. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Come on, this is so annoying.
warning, passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. This is a very interesting area. Very creepy. Didn't I tell you to stay away? From what? I don't even know who you are. Marguerite Maida is the name. You're on my turf. Great. Can I come in and warm up? What part of go away do you not understand, Altera? I'm not with Altera. Come on. Seems like this lady's been here a while. Nice moon pool. Customized prawn suit. So that does that mean we can build it? Please tell me that means we can build it. Doesn't look like it. Jesus! Oh, jeez. I told you to stay off my land. You trained that Jeez. Thing? Next time I'll let him tear you to ribbons, Altera. I'm not with Altera. I'm Robin Ayu. I'm looking for information about my sister Sam. I think you might have crossed paths. Bull crap. I suggest you take the time you need to come to your senses and then get off my sea base. If you're not Altera, why don't you disable that damn tracking satellite tower instead of barging into my sea base? Maybe once Altera's off my back, I'll remember something about your sister. There's some junk on that table that might help. I couldn't get it to work. Well, that scared me. Snow Fox? What is that? What? what? That didn't look like something I could ride around in the ocean. That far out to sea, swimming back for land wasn't an option. I'd die from exhaustion long before I made it to shore. All I could do was survive long enough to wash up somewhere felt a suction and suddenly there were vast jaws rising out of the water towards me it had taken hours for the reaper's corpse to float to the surface using the knife i clambered up her flank and got a perch on top i figured she'd float for a few days at least enough for me to catch my breath but would she sink before or after i died of thirst i had a knife a repair tool and three liters of water. At least I wasn't gonna die of exhaustion. Now, those reapers, they're practically all muscle, but there's some fat in there. I was able to keep warm and drink the water. And I didn't have much, but I had that repair tool, so I had a spark. It took a week to light that first fire. And I know more about the burning properties of reaper fat than I ever cared to. I had to ration fires, but as they burned, I could smoke meat that I carved out of the beast's rib cage. Wonderful. OK, 
Okay, this is the crystal caves biome. Still no diamonds. Warnings. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And now I'm going to die. Oxygen. Well, I lost whatever rubies I had on me, but that's fine. I don't care. Rubies aren't going to be useful for, for a little while. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed this new episode. Jeez, that dog thing scared me. But I hope you guys all enjoyed, and see you all next time.